guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lily if you're not welcome back um, it's been a while since I sat down and talked to you guys like this I've been doing so many voiceovers lately um, but it's nice I hope everybody is doing good during this time I know it's a little crazy in the world I mean 2020 in general has just been crazy so I hope everyone's doing well and I want my channel to be a place where you could come and just forget reality and just either just pass the time laugh join me <laughs> and just escape for a little while so for today's video i'm going to show you how i put my extensions in and how i curl my hair with the extensions on and i will list everything down below and so yeah if you want to see how i got this look please keep watching I straightened my hair, it's been a few days now, so if I curl it, I believe it should hold a lot better than right after I straighten it, but it's so, and <laughs> I have a lot of hair, but it's thin, so I use extensions just to make my hair thicker. Um, I got these extensions from Bellamy Hair, I think they have to be at least 20 inches long. I've had them for a few years now, but they're still really good. Um, so I, I have three wefts here, the one with four clips and two with three clips. So I'm gonna show you how I put those on. I'm gonna turn around, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. But first you wanna part your hair. So I go from like right above my ear. The line doesn't have to be perfect either. You just need to separate it. So I'm taking the one with the four clips first. So I'm gonna turn around. And I take a little piece of hair, or my fingertips, and I push it up into the hair clip so that it's a good amount of hair in there. You want to part your hair again, right above the last one. So, about here. So the same thing. I'm going to go right above the last one for two clips in the back, and then this last clip I want it to the side of the head. this one and use the extension hair to go into this one. So again, okay. So you can see how thick <laughs> my hair looks now, which I love. I wish it was like that for real. I just kind of comb through so that my hair combines with the extension. I think these uh, extensions are also super black. My hair has a little bit of brown, a little bit of red in it from all the other times I've dyed my hair. But I like that. Now for the curling part. The curling iron that I use is from Numi. I've had it for many years ago three-quarter inch wand and it goes up to 450. I tend to keep it at 430. It got super hot. I burned myself the other day. <laughs> um, so I part my hair down the middle and then it depends on how loose you want the curls. So you, if you want them tight, you'll take less hair and hold the wand for a little longer. And if you want them to be a little looser, you grab a little more hair and you don't have to keep the heat on there as long. So I kind of want it in between. I don't want super, super tight curls, but I don't want like the beachy wave look. So I do want more of a curl. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> 
sometimes I shoot for something and then when it's done, I'm still happy with it, but it's not exactly what I was going for. So let's see. And in, in this particular look, I think I will be curling my hair all in the same direction. If you want the curls to be a little more separated, you want to alternate. So the like first part away from your face, the second part toward your face. And you just do that throughout the whole hair. And you'll have two different types of curls, so they're kind of separated. But I want them all away from my face, so they're all kind of meshed together. Okay, so I grab about that much hair and wrap it around. curl. Now if you want them to stay a little tighter, you can also pin them up while you do the rest of your hair. But I just kind of go like this in my hand and move on. I'm going to show you just a few pieces and then I'm just going to go in and fast forward through the rest because it's pretty repetitive. ago I was accident prone first I burned myself with this wand and then I was taking something out of the oven or putting something in the oven I burned my other hand with the rack in the oven then something fell on one toe and then I was in the shower and the body wash bottle fell on my pinky toe and I was bleeding I was like what is going on and it's everything is even so it was like I burned myself with the wand on my left thumb and then the oven I burned my right thumb, same spot, which is so crazy. And then the thing that fell on my right toe and then the body wash fell on my left pinky. It's so weird. <laughs> Gotta wrap me in bubble wrap. I wish I knew how to do curlers in my hair. It's so hard to do it on myself. My mom would do it for me. But <sighs> My hair is so long, it takes all day to dry. <laughs> so I have to be in curlers all day. I remember when we were in California and I wanted someone, to, I wanted to go get my hair washed and just have them set it. And I told them, I just want you to put my hair in curlers. And I brought my own curlers and everything. And it was like, they didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I remember seeing a video of a, like a little girl and she was trying to curl her hair. And she wrapped her hair around the curling iron and her whole, that whole piece that she was curling stuck to the curling iron just came off her head. Oh man. That sucks. I'm sure you guys saw that too. Oh, and I forgot to mention I had sprayed it in my hair prior to starting the video, that's why I forgot. But definitely need hair protectant for this. This gets so hot, you don't want to fry your hair. This is the one I use, Tresemme. Uh, the heat protection up to 450. It smells really good and works pretty good. off after an hour of use <laughs> so I gotta remember to pay attention to that there's so many times that I go through and start curling and it's not even on red. It turned off midway. All right. So that's it. 
you're all done. No, I'm just kidding. I don't <laughs> like to leave it like this. I mean, there's a lot of holes and stuff that you can see. So when all of your hair has cooled, then I like to go in and just kind of brush it out with my fingers. So yeah, and you can play with it. You can go in and curl more of the pieces if they start coming undone too much. Um, or you can comb it out more, whatever you like. But that's basically it. And as the day goes on, um, the curls fall more and more. And the best is actually tomorrow when you wake up. I love that. So then you can wear this hairstyle for a few days. And then when you take the extensions out and you just pop them back in, it's like they're already curled and ready to go. You can put some hairspray if you want, tame the flyaways, and this is it from the back. I love it. I wish my hair was really this thick. <laughs> so this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.